think a lot of folks don't realize how beautiful the Gulf Coast is. And it's a completely different kind of beauty unlike anywhere else on the planet. There's a lot of natural beauty here. Huge, magnificent oaks. We used to walk down to the river and do a lot of fishing and crabbing when I was a kid growing up. For me, there's, there's no place like here. When you ask a home an Indian about identity, one of the first things that comes up is the particular bayous that they're born on. People here are very, very tough, innovative, and self-determining, and always have been. I grew up living a wonderful, innocent life. And we always want what's better for our children than what we have, but they're not going to be able to experience that beauty that we had. And that's because it's coming at the hands of oil and gas. We are constantly under attack from climate disasters. Our people are being hit in every direction. With the way the, the land's eroding, storms are, are tearing up stuff, it's not only tearing up the land, it's tearing up our family, our people. For us, it's also resistance to the pushing out of our culture. It's like a dead place because these industries right over here. Fish kills that go for miles. Just solid fish dead. People are dying. The damage that these industries, the oil and gas industry, this has caused. We must find a way to hold these industries accountable. In spite of all of the hundreds of millions of dollars that have been taken out of the land, the people who live here, not just the indigenous people, the white people, the African Americans, the Hispanics, nobody's really profiting. For the Gulf Coast to continue to be a sacrifice zone for this country is absolutely reprehensible. The time has come to engage this region and to let these people in this region lead. The sooner they realize the central significance of the Gulf region and these fence line communities to everyone's future, their own futures will be more secure. We are the miner's canary. The federal government has to take ownership over the fact that it has perpetuated this culture of giving away the Gulf into infinity. We don't have any more Gulf 